welcome back to the channel. I'm making an audio mixer for my synthesizers. I know it's a little bit off the beaten track from analog photography. It is analog in every sense. These two synthesizers left and right here are analog. And we're also plugging in some digital synthesizers, some virtual instruments from my Mac above. And I will go through the build of this little audio mixer, which I made from a lunchbox. So this is the lunchbox mixers layout. I have my Volca keys over here, uh, my Volca bass, and I have my left and my right going in from my from my door from Ableton Live. Uh, I have panned left and right over here. These are my pan controls. These were set in the middle, and these are my gain controls. So there are all my inputs. I've got my all mono inputs left and right and then they're mixed into a stereo output that's my stereo output these are my mono input from my keys and from my Volca base there's a switch here little LED very simple <laughs> So I'm going to keep this as simple as possible, how to build the mini mixer in a lunchbox. You need a soldering iron, some solder, a multimeter, two 9 volt batteries and of course a lunchbox and the various components. Now everything is outlined in my blog and the circuit diagram as well. This circuit diagram from Ray Wilson and it's basically an op amp, two op amps, some resistors, a couple of capacitors and two pots. It's very simple to actually build. Um, we're going to build what's in, in the red outline section, which is the pots and resistors. And then in the second part, we we'll build the actual circuit board, which just has the, the quad op amp. Of course, you can use a dual op amp as well. So we lay out our 50K pots and our 100K pots as shown. Then we solder in our 20K resistors right onto the pots, very simple here. And we just leave the two wires up because they will be our channel wires as you see in the picture here. So let's solder in our ground wire and you'll notice those two resistors are still standing up and those will be soldered together to form our channel wires. And those channel wires are in yellow, you'll see them here and they go back to the op amp board which will be in section two. So that's pretty straightforward nothing too difficult. You also need two yellow wires here to go back to the board. Also solder in the input capacitors here. You'll see this on the 100K pots and there's little small yellow wires and those will go, those yellow wires will go to our inputs, our 35 millimeter jack inputs. Now put some tape around the various things so that they, they do not can uh, touch off the back of the pots. Um, you can do this any way you like. I also use some hot glue here to stop things moving around. And on the back of your lunchbox, you drill some holes, put in your 35 millimeter jack sockets, solder in your input wires, the yellow ones, and of course, do your ground wire. Pretty straightforward. If you want to use bigger jacks, you can do that too. So let's do the board next. For your board, you'll need your 22 picofarad capacitor and your 39K resistor. You need those for each of your op amps as shown in the diagram. And then for your output, another resistor. But before we do that, we need to solder under the board so we get all our ground connected together as shown here. So back to the diagram here, you see where the two yellow wires, which are from our front panel, which are our channels, and then we'll connect in our black wire. Then after that, we'll need to solder in the plus and minus VCC voltages, and of course the ground to our battery and our switch, which is coming up next. Now for your switch, I used a double pole switch because we use a common ground. We connect a positive and a negative of the battery together. This becomes our common ground. The negative becomes minus nine and the positive becomes plus nine. 
we do that through a switch and we connect in an LED to show that the device is on or off. Pretty straightforward. I have the little box open so you can have a look what's inside and how it's so there's my pots and that's all the soldering done uh, and all the inputs down here my switch the operational amp fire this is a quad a quad amp uh, so it has four uh, operational amp fires inside I'm only using two you could use the other two and uh, to make an additional output for headphones and then Another another section to um, increase increase it for 32 ohm type headphones. I have two batteries, two nine volt batteries. So for plus nine and minus nine. I kept it very simple. You could you could put other jacks inside if you wanted the um, the quarter inch jacks instead of the 35 millimeters. Uh, that's up to you but for this setup uh, because of the bulk keys use the the 3.5 millimeter uh, smaller type and not the quarter inch that's what I designed it around and it's portable so uh, I'm just going to put a session together and uh, record that and you can see how it works um, below here this, this panel here is what's called a sequencer and drum sequencer and whatever um, it's beat step pro and these are my two synthesizers uh, that connect into the audio mixer you could use this audio mixer for a lot of applications um, you could if you want to change some of the inputs and uh, that they are more stereo or if you want them change them to be um, for more microphone inputs you could do that too but this is a very simple line in level um, mixer and a line out so that's pretty much it so i'm gonna put on my recorder over here and that's what i usually do is i take the output from from my mixer into recorder and I can listen to on headphones. So thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this content. It's a little bit different to what I normally do, alternative photography and analog photography. Uh, I will be coming back with some more photography videos, but for the moment, I'd love to hear your feedback and your comments on a bit of electronics. Thank you again for watching and hope to see you on the next one.